Anyone who's ever watched an episode of Law & Order probably knows what a criminal trial jury is. 12 people who have to decide whether someone is guilty or innocent. There are lots of eloquent speeches from a prosecutor and a defense attorney, you know, like Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird. But seriously, what the f is a grand jury? Grand juries happen before a criminal trial. Think of the prosecutor here as the master of ceremonies. He or she basically picks the evidence the jury hears, and the defense attorney has no say. There's also usually no judge. Grand juries have to decide whether or not there's enough evidence just to accuse or charge someone with a crime. This is called indictment. Grand juries don't have to decide whether the crime was committed or whether the accused is guilty. That's saved for a trial. 23 states in DC require grand juries. There can be anywhere from 5 to 23 jurors at the state level and 16 to 23 at the federal level. Usually only the most serious crimes like rape or murder go to a grand jury. Lots of people have argued that grand juries have become a mere formality, or worse, a prosecutor's best friend. Out of 162,000 federal cases in 2010, grand juries didn't come up with an indictment in just 11 of them. But it wasn't always so. Grand juries are actually really old. Some have traced them as far back as ancient Greece. Others to the Anglo-Saxons more than 10 centuries ago. The actual term grand jury was used back in 1386, when a sheriff rounded up 24 knights to present offenses committed in the county. Grand juries evolved in England from there, and the practice was imported to the American colonies. In 1734, three grand juries refused to indict John Peter Zenger. He was charged with sedition for publishing stuff that was critical of the governor of New York, which helps explain why a few years later, American revolutionaries thought grand juries were a very good thing. The Founding Fathers enshrined the grand jury in the Constitution, seeing it as a shield against unjust persecution. So now that you know more about grand juries, what do you think? Antiquated relic or essential tool for justice?